Not good. They're towing my vessel illegal. They escorted the DLNR. They're towing your vessel illegal? They, they escorted the Doe Care officers to board my vessel. And they're towing it with Eric Bergmeier's boat. And I'm going to videotape whoever's on this boat because they are the ones that are doing this right here. Are your boats over there? They're, it's coming. It's about 20 minutes away. These are the officers that illegally boarded my vessel. Right here. And the main instigator, Robert Troy Abreu, right there. Fucking guys. Yeah? Retaliation station, right? Fucking here. Yeah? Yeah, right there. How's it going, sir? I am Brent Harwood. Doe Care is illegally removed my vessel from its anchor and towing it right now with a private vessel that is a direct competitor to mine as a mooring installer. You use the U.S. Coast Guard to violate my constitutional rights right now. Okay. This is where it all started from the guy. You take this notice. Get your hands out of my window. You take okay. this document right here. You understand me? You have no rights. You have only might is right. So you guys get out of my boat and leave it alone right fucking now. You understand me? It's my fucking boat. And you're here to escort them and to help them, right? And if I have anything to do with them, you will try to stop me, won't you? Yes. This is another guy coming to escort my boat. How vessel. are you doing? No, I'm not doing well. You guys stole my boat today. Yeah? Not a hazard of navigation. 24 hours a day. Nav lights. Anchored. No problem. Okay. This is him right now. You're all surrounding me. Guess what? Might is right, isn't it? There's no laws anymore. It's all about eco. Well, that guy right there got you guys into this. I'm the one that reported the corals to you guys over and over, and you guys let it all go. You, how do you appreciate that? You guys let them all off. I gave, I gave you uncut video, and all of them got off from doing massive coral damage. All of them. You don't appreciate that. You, this is your payment to me. This individual right here helped steal my vessel today, illegally. This is retaliation for boarding my vessel and me telling them, no, you cannot board my vessel without a warrant in the Moana. You understand? I'm gonna talk to these guys wherever I want. This is public space and I am at the right. You stole my vessel today. We did you not steal your vessel. The state impounded your vessel. No more they had no right vessel. to impound my vessel. No I don't care what they want. You in May. Yet 72 hours to leave the Orma. This is not the United States. You have no rights here. I was not underway. The U.S. Coast Guard had no right to board. This is the guy right here that has the ego up the ass. Because I got him in trouble for having people anchor on coral during COVID. He got in trouble. He and Miles got in trouble. So his ego's up to fucking here. And I just confronted him for boarding two U.S. Coast Guard documented vessels. Two by himself. Two, in the last week, you can see the video. That's what he's retaliating against. And this guy right here has to be fired and put in jail, and this is going to add to my lawsuit against both the U.S. Coast Guard and the DLNR for Fourth Amendment rights violations. You understand? This is not your Moana. You don't work here. I do the morning work. The guy you hired, the guy you fucking hired, Eric Bergmeier, he's my competition. You have any idea how fucked up that is? And he knows who I am. I had a good conversation with him two weeks ago, right at his slip. He knows that boat. He knows exactly whose boat that is. I have a phone on that boat tracking that boat right fucking now. You guys take anything off that boat, you violate that boat. If you cut my lines, you dropped my anchor, didn't you? You dropped my anchor, didn't you, fucking jackass? You fucking racist cunt. You cannot handle doing your job. You have to be behind a fucking fence because you know full well you cannot violate all these old men that have totally all legal everything. You're yelling and screaming out and telling them, and Pigeon, you're telling them you're going to seize their vessel if they don't do what you want. Well, guess what? They're all fucking afraid of you. But I'm not afraid of you anymore. You know why? Because I found out you're just a fucking paper tiger. You have to use real weapons to fuck with me. And guess what? Might is right. It's the only thing we got here because these guys won't even enforce the maritime law of 
Nobody boards the vessel without a warrant, fucking jackass. Yeah. You're just out there asking for money. You do nothing for fucking nobody. All you do is have your hand out. Ooh, I need some new Maui gyms. Oh, I need a new Toyota pickup truck. Well, guess what? You're a fucking tyrant and a terrorist. And I call you Roscoe because the document I just gave him has not even my name on it. When you guys boarded my vessel, did you even check the document he gave you? It didn't have my name. He knows my name. It didn't have my vessel's name. It didn't have the right length. I gave it to you three days ago, you fucking asshole. Yeah. I just, I gave it to you. I can say whatever the fuck I want. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but someone was calling you on your phone. Yeah, well, this is a bigger priority, isn't it? Is that my boat's gonna come in here and you're not gonna come aboard it ever? You're not gonna search it. You're not gonna do anything. Your guys already already went aboard illegally. Normally I would have invited you. I normally love the fuck out of the U.S. Coast Guard, but you violated my rights. And you help this guy with a document that's blank. It's like me giving you a speeding ticket and I say, oh, he has a black black truck in Maui. No name, no VIN number, no plate number, nothing. He is incompetent. The notice he gave to Griffin and boarded illegally. It the phone number doesn't even fucking work. Freaking Troy, Robert Troy Abreu. It doesn't even fucking work. I tested it out. Yeah, you don't even know the name of the owner because these guys don't want to give you any information. But none of you guys checked the document. That's the document he gave me to, that you used to violate my rights. Right there. And I, three days before you guys were there, and you know I told you my boat was Kaikanani. Kaikanani OG. There's only three Kakinani's in the U.S. Coast Guard documented vessels at the site. And there's one's a newer one, one is the 65-foot vessel, and mine's the original. It says school ship. I told you all that. He could have got the documented vessel number off that. He could have. He could have gotten the proper length off of that. And he didn't. He's a fuck. He knows my... No, this is what you're supposed to put on the fucking boats. But you guys can't afford anything. You got ran out of tape last time, didn't you, fucker? Well, guess what? I'm going to put new ones of these up of your new notice against Griffin. Because you're retaliating against two boats. Two boats that were helping me that I do morning work. I have 25 morning clients at Malaya. If you put me out of service, you think ahead. You guys want boats breaking off? When I fuck up, I swim or use a kayak. When you guys fuck up, you get a brand new fucking boat. He got a brand new fucking boat. And he used a non-U.S. Coast Guard captain to operate it. Yeah. And he's retaliating against you right now. Every dinghy I come up with to repair the one that I got sunk, I haven't had a fucking minute to break. He, they, they try to seize it. They try to steal it. They try to slash him. I've had two dinghies slashed since I reported coral damage to you guys during COVID. I reported, I found 15 people on coral. And I only reported three because they were repeat offenders and they didn't go off and they were in a good spot. I don't report people that are nice people. I put them on a morning for free or shell them where they can put a good anchor in a good spot. But they, they retaliated. I lost two fucking dinghies so far. And he's after my dinghies. And he uses the informant that used to be my employee. Then he's pissed off because his morning broke. Well, guess what? Today, I'm going aboard my vessel and I'm taking it out of here. And you guys try to stop me, it'll add to the U.S. Coast Guard constitutional. I'm tell you this right and you're dope here as well. I'm going to tell you this right now. Your vessel is going to be here, okay? It is going to be moored right on that corner over there, area there by the Harbor Master's office. Okay, it was impounded by the state of Hawaii. You understand, I'm confronting him head on right now. Paul Sanzano is corrupt. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. not fine. You're, no. you're supporting his corruptness. I'm, not supporting his I'm the one that got you to get the grass fine. cut. The grass is four feet fucking tall. Are you going to let me talk for Okay. Or are you just going to talk over me? Okay, I'm going to allow you to talk. Okay, thank you. I will board my vessel you and you will not lock it up. You it is my vessel. vessel. You understand, it's my vessel. Do you have to prove your vessel? Do you have paperwork to prove that it's your vessel? You asked. You ask the Coast Guard whose vessel it is. Is there anybody? I'm not asking the Coast Guard. I'm I don't have you. to. I have documentation, but I'm not giving it to you because I don't have to. I have not violated any laws that pertain to the Kingdom of Hawaii. Yes, you understand that. Okay, so this is the Kingdom the, of Hawaii. You're talking about the Kingdom of Hawaii, and you're talking about a constitution. Which one is it? Well, whichever one puts you back in your car and drive away from me, because you came to me. We're not. You I, drew first you blood. Came you came to me. I didn't come to you. Did I board your vessel? Did I come to your house? Did no. I search your vessel imp improperly? Did no. I come on the curtilage of your property? Did no. I go in your yard and fuck with your chickens? No. no. I don't have chickens. Whatever you got, whatever you don't got, I didn't violate it. I didn't go to you. You just went to my boat and you towed all the way from Black Rock to retaliate for this fucker right here that I call Roscoe because he's a fucking asshole. That has no fucking enforcement unless you give it to us. Did you did word. you see this document yes, when it I was did. did you see there was nothing on it? it he knows fine. who I am. He's he, during COVID three years ago, sent me emails threatening to seize my vessel. He's not done nothing since then. This is activation station. All right. 
I will board my vessel just to be very clear with you, no matter what you say. You're and I, talk? Okay. But you do not tell me not to board my vessel. You understand that? Okay. Talk. You are not going to board your vessel. I will board my vessel. You're not going to board your vessel. I will board my if vessel. Do, if you do interfere. Interfere? Uh, yes, it's if, my vessel. If you do talk. interfere with the government operation, you will be arrested for obstructing government operations. Great. Okay? Yeah. That is a misdemeanor. That will add to the civil rights lawsuit against every single one of you. You understand? Okay, I'm just you, saying, you know as that. a leader, will be arrested and put in jail. You understand that? Okay. I am telling you flat out, this is the Fourth Amendment violation. You understand that? I understand. You were on my property, you told me my property without proper anything. Okay. For this, this is it. It's not got my name. It's not the proper length of my boat. It's nothing on it but that it's a white pickup truck that you're giving a speedy ticket to. That's the kind of guy you're supporting. Okay. You guys supported him and you got you go to the US Coast Guard to come in on it. So when were you posted that? When was that? That was what you what he so gave that to was me. Given to you on May 19th you of gave this, this year. to me. You, I did not give You that. allowed him to give it to me and you forced him. You forced him onto my boat and you would not let me remove him for over a half an hour while you dug and dug and dug and dug and dug because Jeff's ego got pinched because I called him on his shit. I called him on his shit. He did not know Uncle Bill Doman. He did not go and have barbecue with him. I called him on his fucking shit. Okay, what does this have to do with... It has to do with history. This guy has a massive negative history with me. I have confronted this guy and his corruption for so long. I was taking out the sales from Cinderella. You know where this all started? He wanted Cinderella salvage, a 51-foot sloop that I salvaged per the owner's permission and payment because Parker wanted to do it for the state because he has a thing with, he has a little uh, monopoly with Puzzle and Sandal usually, but now D&D Towing has it. And I'm the one that documents D&D Towing, cutting up the lead keel in the water with the chainsaw, no dust extraction, and you guys do nothing but come after me 